Okay. What are we doing? Oh, we're gonna go look for a woman named Champagne. In the Creole Quarter. Help me, please. Oh, I've heard talk. People have said that Champagne lives in the Fisherman's Quarter. <laughs> in a hut on a boat. She owns two dogs. Why did she say the Creole Quarter? If they were just going to send me to the Fisherman's Quarter. I actually think I know where she was. Well, I guess she lives on this boat, actually. Isn't she... Oh, no, that was just a generic NPC. I was going to say, wasn't she the woman over here? Tocqueville, play it! <laughs> Hush now. Tocqueville? No offense, Shay. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge... <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe, maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Chill. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time you pay. Thank you. May have been... One, two weeks ago, rich man's butler sold him some black opal. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. It's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you-know-what. Thank you for the offer and the help. Careful. Nolans may look welcoming, but not ever smile as pretty. Where'd Watson? Oh, he's just waiting down there. Okay. People have said that Champagne lives in the. I've already done that. Who is the jewel seller? A. Oh, I got it right off the bat. E. A for Arneson. Most likely the jewel seller who stands behind the A in the telegram from the Eldewise Institute is E. Arneson for the French Quarter. Weren't there like three A's? How did we get this? Why did we choose this one? I don't. something is because that last name's French yeah because she said it's the one from the French Quarter okay there's another dead bird but no dog this time Huh. Okay. A fisherman in the fish, a man in the fisherman's quarter seems to be in distress. He looks desperate and talks about his own death. Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The lower of death came to me last night. I know it will come again. Let's start from the beginning. 
My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death and it ain't finished with me. So that's why there was a bird there. Someone threw it at his window. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many and we call them lowers. And Maman Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Maman's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and, and the light became very bright. That is something. Okay. We have a feathered friend in the case. Blood droplets, a small crack. A bird crashed against Cole's house. The damage is recent. Cracked boat leaking. Feather. Not black, however. Did you really expect to find a feather of rock here? There are too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. <laughs> Normally they'd be like, yes. He dropped a cup here. Herbs. This one is almost odorless. It smells sweet. Is it herbs or is it tobacco? Interesting. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about you. Coal ground the herbs here. Properties of some herbs are truly amazing, Cole. And some are extremely dangerous. I didn't know how Watson was going to start talking. Mix in equal proportions: goldenrod, strawberry leaves, jasmine flowers. Is it jasmine poisonous? So he had a hallucinogenic. Suffer leftovers. It's not a simple tea, a herbal concoction, rather. Black tea seems not to be very popular here. Some chewing tobacco leaves. Can I interact with any of this stuff? Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. With William in Shreveport, 1879. Why did I take his photo? <laughs> Cheap and strong brew. That seems a bit odd. That's probably his restroom. Excuse me, just one question. No, I not heard about that. Sorry. OK. 
Okay. More boot prints here. Unsteady. He was unstable. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Handprint crawl. Back. <laughs> and his chair's not in that location, but he could have always moved his chair. This is what he... Th should I do what he thinks he saw? Okay, well, he said he saw it in the bed, so it's not this one. Eaten. Went to bed, dropped the cup, because he thought he saw the chicken. Wait, this is the first one. Third one? That's the second one. So these don't. So if this is the third one, he probably would have sat down. But he couldn't because he broke his cup. I don't think he was attacked by a giant chicken at all. It's... This one just implies that he just dropped a cup for no reason. So I'm doing all the ones where he doesn't. touch the water it goes black because I'll die okay hold on let me ask him some questions sir I must ask you did you have a drink last night no sir I didn't take a sip it all happened before I went to bed and I only drink to fall asleep that's just how it is lately your boat is wrecked what happened well I stumbled over a cypress root you'd need some force to cause that damage yeah and to be really down on your luck. Help me, please. No, I not heard about that. Sorry. May I ask you something? What makes you think I can be of any help? Because you're standing here, so you have to know something. Can I ask you a question? What makes you think I can be of any help? Help me, please. What makes you think I can be of any help? Could you help me? No, I not heard about that. Sorry. Why did it look like Sherlock was just about to punch this guy? May I ask you something? What makes you think I can be of any help? Can I ask you a question? What makes you think I can be of any help? Guess I just gotta choose. What's on? At least the weather is on our side. Is this familiar to you? 
I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Okay, see, I knew there was a reason you were standing here. Cole's neighbors saw him that night. And when he left the house, they thought he was drunk. Cole was alone, but no spirits were observed. So yes, the eating. So everything I have has to be correct. Oh, no two ways about it. Can I talk to the guy that's out there? I guess all I can do now is validate it. I don't believe I'm missing any clues. Cole was having dinner. He was alone. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. Have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. Failed meeting with spirits? Last night, Cole was alone in his house. Suddenly, he developed symptoms of insanity, and his confused mind created hallucinations. Somewhere in a normal strain on your breath. Sir? Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The Lowers were not with you. Well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Vebe sign, but watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. I'll be careful. Oh. I'm cursed, sir. Okay, but that isn't the end of this. That's just the end of that scene. crime scene. Somebody's letter. Dear Mr. Holmes, I knew that when you heard about voodoo, you would be immediately skeptical. This would though this world is not what it seems. I find it strange that in your journey you are still in disbelief. I am sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to help open your eyes. I presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found at Cole's house, knowing of his tragedy. I told him to brew an infusion from these herbs. The effects of that infusion are solace and mollification. If you don't believe me, read this book. There are the answers that you seek. May the spirits be with you, Mr. Holmes, Sam D. After you find what yes, after you find what you are look seeking, please return the tome. Some books can do bad things if they fall into the wrong hands. Thick old book filled with notes on rites, spirits, and symbols. A significant part of the book is devoted to various herbs descriptions and their properties. Voodoo Sandy. So I never got to meet the guy. Okay. Do you know anything about this? Uh, don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> there 
there's nothing you can do about it. Well, who do I go to next? So I don't think the case is finished. As it has not told me the case is finished. to help me doesn't remind me of anything someone else might help you better sir hmm. help me please sorry mister can't help you ask someone else it's a book to scratch properties of various herbs Still there, passed out. So we need to find someone who deals in herbs. Locked. No one's here. Locked. No one's here. So we missed all that. I only looked in the window. I think I came back by and got the points for it. You. Help me, please. I'm sorry. You should search for answers somewhere else. <laughs> she had herbs. I could have swore it was her. Could just be showing the letter. Oh, sorry. Could just be showing the letter to Cole. Might be what I have to do. I'm just gonna do a quick pass to see if there's anyone else that has herbs. Doesn't seem like it though. Okay, let's go see if we can show him the handwritten letter from Psalm D. Then if not, I guess I'm moving on. Maybe it's maybe it concludes the quest at a later date. Death is hanging over me. Death is hanging over me. You can look at my dogs, but don't touch them. Don't tarry, Sheriff. Less skeeters get to you. <laughs> Your man is from the French Quarter. The locals in town can get you there. How do I conclude this quest? May I ask for your assistance? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Despite him being a little strange, he helps people with their advice. Problems can be advice from others also. Remove slander. Remove slander. Texas. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what the next step is. Watson? Hopefully we won't stumble upon the sheriff. Is this familiar to you? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Hmm. So there's nothing I can do with any of that. But I have these ingredients and in oh. I can search my archives without going home. Yellow flowers with pointed leaves. So, yellow. Turn narrow and a winged. I don't know what wing shape would be. Oh. Mm, viole. Petiole. Small, numerous baskets, less than an inch in diameter. I already knew they were... Wait, am I just looking up what I already knew what they were called? Golden rod. Oh, because one of the ingredients on the list is probably the wrong ingredient. Perennial herbuscus plant from the Asterix. Estress K, K family. Goldenrod has a strong diuretic effect used for indigestion and rheumatism. It has a general anti inflammatory property. Okay. Four to six inches. Trumpet shape. Sweet odor. Jimson weed. See that that wasn't one of them. Also known as Devil's Snare, is a potent poisonous plant. In case of poisoning, Jimson weed causes dry mouth, speech, and swallowing disorders. Dilated, dilated pupils, impaired near vision, fear of light, delirium, hallucinations, and agitation. Severe poisoning is characterized by the loss of orientation and sharp mental arousal. <laughs> Okay, so he grabbed one of the wrong plants. Okay, to get all my points, we'll go ahead and get the rest of these. Sour odor. And strawberry leaves. These are effective remedy to improve appetite and normalize digestive processes. Teas and infusions with strawberry leaves have a possible effect to work on the heart, help lower blood pressure. Yes, yada yada yada. Okay, now we get it. I didn't realize I had to dive into my archives. I probably would have known if I didn't interrupt Watson while he was talking because I didn't know he was going to talk. Okay. Sir? Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. Okay. Market. Yeah, I bet Zora will kill it. Did you see how she rushed there? Fierce and good. Yeah, I'm afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who messes with them. Zora's not at her stall. A few people mentioned her in conversation. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired. But yeah, I'll help you. Zora went to the Chinatown market. She was wanting to start a fight with another herb merchant there. 
Zora is known for her quarrelsome temper. However, for the few last days, for the last, for the yeah, for the few last days, she has been unusually aggressive. Okay, so I just kind of got ahead of myself by knowing that I saw a herb merchant. If I would have just noticed the book above the evidence, I would have known what to do, where to go. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Don't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. It's already know where to go, but I figured I would ask them anyways. Oh, these herbs fresh. And you dare call my products of standard. Excuse me, are you Zora? I am. What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have several questions, if you don't mind. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, Jasmine, Strawberry. These are very common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. Have you heard of Jimson Weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie, a willless life. Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the lowest heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got what he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? The sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one raffle, just one to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my will got a bullet in his chest. How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. Sounds like your husband got shot on his own because he, I mean, it was the sheriff's fault. May I ask you something? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. But it, it, he tried to go up against the guy who had all the guns with no weapon and got shot. I don't, I mean, blame the sheriff, don't blame his brother, right? What is the logic of NPCs? Why am I walking back? I should have just fast traveled. Um, she also just fully admitted to attempted murder. learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. Zora told you, didn't she? Can you tell me what happened and why you feel guilty? My brother died. I'm alive and William is not. That's why. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate, the one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate, and then bang! He was lying there dead. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task, and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower death will come for me. Hey. So 
now we head over to there. Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. I'm angry with you. Um, I already know where it's gonna be at. I just don't want to miss a clue from not having a conversation. It has to be over here. This is the Grub and Sons. Right. This is Grub and Sons. Eastern gates of the warehouse near the mar. Oh. I went too far. <laughs> Eastern gates. According to Cole, it all started somewhere near the barrels. Okay. Chewed tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. Handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. William was shot here. I saw him drop off the crane and then bang! He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. And what did Cole do? Stop. I froze. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserves it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Okay. So tell Zora about it instead of tell Paul about it? Well, I mean, Cole already knows what happened. Okay, good, she came back. I was like, do I have to go all the way back to the market? Strawberry leaves. Back over once. Dried. What do you want? Man, I missed a lot of clues on that. <sighs> Cole is not to blame. I know you are angry at Cole, but you must know that he is not guilty of your husband's death. I was at the warehouse and I saw it all myself. The sheriff shot William and Cole couldn't prevent it, not even at the cost of his life. Why did Cole survive then? And how did he return unwounded? He had no chance of stopping the sheriff, but he found himself unnoticed. All he could do was run or die. That jackal sheriff. Perhaps you're right. I didn't want to kill Cole. It's just too painful to know that he's still around while my will's dead. You can mourn with Cole. Forgive him if you can. I'll need some time for that. But no, you're cool to get away with attempted murder. That's cool. 
We're all right with that. Can I show her this? I miss Will so much. Watson. Where does it drop me off if I fast travel to the Fisher place? Oh, good, right here. Perfect. There are too many imprints here. It's hard to Sir. I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. W what? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. If the lowers were guiding her, I deserved it. I went to the warehouse, and I know what happened. You were not guilty of William's death. You had no chance of stopping the sheriff. Your only choice was to run or die. That was my purpose as a brother. But I fear William. I'm a coward. I ruined two lives in one evening, including Zora's. I spoke with Zora, and she forgives you. Now is the time to forgive yourself. You... Thank you, sir. I'll try. The other gods. Do I get to keep the book? I'm guessing I get to keep the book. And that's where the swarm will end. 